All right, Haron. I'm ready to hear about your lost souls. Oh, them. Not everyone in the underworld belongs here. These souls are lost. Their true resting place deserves to be found. You're the ferryman. You tell them where to go. That's not in my job description. Every soul arrives lost with unfinished business. Some are just more sympathetic than others. Who are these souls you want me to help? Most die, and I'll give them proper funeral rites, but some aren't so lucky. And the unlucky ones become lost. Oh yes, they are left to wander eternity unaccepting of their fates. I'll help you, ferryman. Where should I start? There's a soldier, an Athenian. He wished to die an honorable death in battle, but as he charged towards the enemy, he slipped in the dirt... ...and fell. Sounds like quite the warrior. He needs a glorious death to pass on to Elysium, but he cannot go to war without his weapon and armor. One is located in the restless necropolis, and the other is in the hands of the champion known as Swordfish. Swordfish... ...of course he'd be here. I'll return this soldier's equipment and help him claim the death he seeks. I've got the Athenian sword and armor. Now I just have to return them to him. Always the same. A warrior. Did death find you on the battlefield like it did me? I'll give you the glorious death you seek. I can't fight you unarmed. There's no honor in that. Lucky for you, I have your armor and weapon here. I joined the war to protect my home from the siege of Sparta. Tell me, did we save glorious Athens and its people? Athens wasn't destroyed by Sparta, but by disease. A plague wiped out the city. I... I can still smell the burning flesh from the piles of dead. So... Athens is no more. We all died for nothing. Without Athens, without its people, what is there left to honor? It's time. Come, put an end to my suffering. Let's end this the right way. Help another of your lost dead. My, my. Aren't you a productive little fleshling, hmm? Tell me, how did things go with the Athenian? I told him about the plague. Hmm. 
You chose to torture an already troubled soul. He loved Athens and its people, but he needed to know the truth. Ah, the plague. Busy times. So busy, I lost someone. A woman whose family couldn't bear to bend the body. So she's stuck down here. She now wanders the halls of the passage of souls, still sick with plague. The Thanados Pyre can purify the dead, but the only way she survived the ordeal is by consuming an asphodel flower. An asphodel flower? My little fleshling is in luck. Due to all the chaos you caused, there is a breach between the underworld and Elysium. You might find a flower there. What makes this asphodel flower so special? Everything from Elysium, that sickeningly perfect paradise, has some kind of boon. I'll get the flower and make sure she reaches the pyre. Be careful out there. Something as rare as an asphodel flower in this place will surely draw a great deal of attention. Please. Ah, it's nice to see you in one piece. Mistyos! Yes, I like it. Nothing trying to eat this place. What are you doing here? Came looking for a magic flower. Sounded so pretty. Wanted pretty flower oil. Have you seen it? I don't think anything pretty grows in a place like this. You're right. Testicles is the only pretty thing here. Right. Well, it was nice seeing you. No hug this time. Okay. Take care of yourself, Testicles. <laughs> Just the mortal I was looking for. What do you want, Hades? It's funny how the tiniest, most insignificant things to some can mean the world to others. Good. More riddles. My darling wife 
hasn't been the same since the death of Cerberus. I would see her smile again. The flower you picked is the last of its kind in my world. And it happens to be her favorite. But Haron wants me to give it to the plagued woman. And you wanted me to help Haron. Tell you what. Give the flower to me. And in exchange, I'll give you the location of one of the fallen you're hunting. Keep me out of your marital affairs. The flower goes to the sick woman. Have it your way. My hounds will get their meal. They always do. Please, stay back. I'm very sick. I've been sent to help you get better. Nothing can cure me. Even here, I'm cursed by this plague. Do you remember anything of your life before? I used to bake the best smelling bread. It's all like a dream that I can't quite see or touch. How did you get here? I remember being in my bed. I was sick. Everything went dark. Then I was by a river surrounded by people waiting to cross. Here. Eat this flower. It will help you feel strong. I feel... different. I feel better. But the plague is still with me. I will take you to a place where you can feel better. There is a fire that will cleanse you. A fire? Are you sure it will help me? Won't it hurt? The flower you ate will protect you. If this is the only way, then I suppose I have to try. Am I cursed to be sick forever? of no heat. I brought the woman to the pyre. <sighs> I like having an assistant. If only you were dead, you could stay forever. Unfortunately, not my plan. 
Such is life. And death. On to the next lost souls. A family devastated by war wanders without refuge. I know how it feels to lose a home. Yes, you all have sad stories to tell. At least most who come here are dead now. I think I would still be sad if I was dead. The suffering you fleshlings inflict on each other never ceases to astound me. And that's why we are helping all the lost we can. You're right. They deserve to have somewhere safe to stay. I'm not here to hurt you. Then what do you want? I've come to take you away from this place. Take you somewhere safe. Why would you help us? I was asked to find you and take you to safety. We have no friends here. Only each other. But the hounds are drawing close, so what choice do we have? There has to be somewhere nearby where you'd be safe. There's a cave not too far from here that could provide some shelter. It didn't look very inviting, but it's better than here. Anywhere else? There was also an abandoned camp. It would be ideal if not for all the strange creatures in the area. It could be dangerous. We should go to the camp. Stay close. Ah. This camp will serve us well. Thank you. What now? What's going on here? A disaster! Can't I just have a normal day Tell of burying the dead? All of these souls have had their coins stolen. Assistant. You have to find the thief and get the coins back, so the dead can cross the sticks. Why don't you just let them through? <sighs> I know you're new around here, but that's not really how we do things in the underworld. Besides, Hades would burn me one toe at a time if I did. All right. I'll find the coin thief. You hear that, everyone? My assistant will find the coin thief. <laughs> Why would anyone want to rob the dead? Isn't it obvious? The coins are used to pay me for passage across the sticks into the underworld. Do you suspect anyone here already? So many pass through, and honestly, you all look the same to me. Come on, think. Well, there was a merchant and a politician who acted strangely. 
They were the only ones not storming my dock. I'll come back when I have news. I'd start looking in the Passage of Souls. It's where the first coins went missing. Good luck. With all the thieves in the underworld, I'll need it. supposed to find anything in this dirty, horrible wasteland? You must be looking for your stolen coins. How do you know? Maybe you're the criminal who came to admire their handiwork. I'm looking for the thief too, but I won't help with that attitude. Fine. I've found nothing here myself anyway. You must remember when you last had your coins. Of course I remember. I was walking through the valley with the rest and struck up conversation with a merchant. So arrogant. Still wearing his jewels and gold. Won't do much for him here. <laughs> when I reached the docks, they were gone. Did anything catch your attention? The merchant I spoke to seemed nervous. He asked if we really had to pay the ferryman. Perhaps his coins were already stolen? I think I've got what I need. Empty coin purses. The strings have been cut. You don't look like the usual people I see passing through here. I'm not dead, if that's what you mean. I'm searching for something. Makes two of us. I'm looking for the coins I lost. Uh, they must be around here somewhere. Think of when you last had them. I remember wandering with the crowd of other people. We were all moving towards the dock. I don't remember where we came from. But as we reached this place, the crowd halted as a man, a politician, I think got up and addressed us. Where were you when you realized your coins were missing? At the dock. I was going to pay the ferryman when I discovered they were gone. Did you see anything strange during your travels? Mm. Only the politician. He was moving away from the docks while everyone else was moving toward them. I have to go. Good luck in your search. Must have been used to cut the coins out. Any news of my coins? I found this dagger. Remind you of anything? Aha! That's what I felt. It nicked me when they cut the strings of my purse. So did you see who did it? No, I was too focused on the politician addressing the crowd. Captivating man. I think I've got what I need. Hmm. The witness was cut while the politician was speaking to the crowd. Oh, you're back. Did you need something? Does this dagger mean anything to you? Hmm. I didn't see anyone with a dagger. I have to go. Good luck in your search. Looks 
like someone buried something here and then came back for it. Must have been in a hurry. A gold bracelet. But it's broken. Must have snapped when its owner was digging. you'd got lost. I didn't think your kind were capable of worrying. There are many things you don't know about us. Like how impatient we are. Have you discovered who stole the coins? So, the dead were robbed while a politician gave a speech. One witness thought he looked suspicious because he was wandering through the crowd, away from the docks. Ah, yes. Even I noticed him. But... A rich merchant was asking about paying the toll. I found a nice dagger that must have cut the coins out. And I found a gold bracelet near the hole that hid the coins. The plot thickens. It was the merchant. He stole the coins. A greedy merchant. Typical. Come, let us deal with him and be done with this. So you are the one who took the coins from these people. This is nonsense. No one should have to pay to enter the underworld. Spare me your platitudes. You stole because you're greedy. These people had nothing in life. They need nothing in death. If I can't live a comfortable life, nobody should. So nice to see you. Whatever brings you to my shore? I could hear this ruckus from the bowels of Tartarus. What is happening here? <gasps> this man stole coins from the dead and then threw them into the river Styx. Mortals always seem to find new ways to surprise me. I'm glad you're finding this funny, but these people had coins for fair passage and now they don't. If they do not have coins, they cannot cross into my realm. That is the law, Aron. They were sent here with the coins as law and tradition state. They deserve to be granted passage. Why don't we let our friend here decide their fate? These people were robbed of their chance for peace. They deserve passage. Well said, Cassandra. They will be granted passage to the underworld. And what of him? Feed him to your hounds. <laughs> I was hoping you'd say that. <laughs> Sometimes we have to make difficult choices. To be able to do so confidently. Is a rare trait in your kind. I've done it before. I'll have to do it again. For such a hopeless fleshling, you've come a long way. Now that Hades is gone, there's something you should have. Thank you, Haron. It's a shame you have to go. You've been a good assistant. I hope you find the answers you seek. <laughs> <laughs> 